In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can simplify radicals that don't have a perfect square root under them. For example, with the square root of 75, we can't just take the square root of 75 nice and even. So what we will do instead is we're going to find the prime factorization of the 75, or the numbers that 75 is divisible by. For example, we can see by looking at 75, that 75 is divisible by 5, 15 times. And we can still reduce the 15 to 3 times 5. This gives us factors of 5, 3, and 5. When we're looking to simplify, we're looking for things we can take the square root of. We have two 5's under this radical hidden inside that 75. Square root says we want to pull out pairs as individuals. The two 5's can come out in front of the square root symbol as 1 5, and left inside the radical is a 3. 5 times the square root of 3 is the simplified version of the square root of 75. Let's try another example where we can try to identify parts that can come out of a radical, rather than the whole thing. Looking at the 63, 63 we know is divisible by 3 and 21. 21 is divisible by 3 times 7. All these numbers are now prime, and so we look for pairs that can come out in front of the square root. Notice we already have a 5 outside of the square root which was multiplied by the square root 5 times. And now what number do we have a pair of? We have a pair of 3's, so a single 3 can come out of the square root. What's left in the square root is a 7, and we have 5 times 3 times the square root of 7, or 5 times 3 is 15, times the square root of 7. Let's try another example. On the square root of 72, we might know 72 is divisible by 8 times 9. We can still divide out the 8, because 8 is 2 times 4, and we can still divide the 9 into prime factors 3 times 3. The 4 can still be split up to prime factors 2, times 2, and now we have all prime factors at the bottom of this factor tree. To decide what's going to go in front of the radical, we will see what pairs we have under this factor tree. We have a pair of 2's, so a 2 comes out. But in this problem, we also have a pair of 3's, so we will also pull a 3 out. All that's left inside is a 2. So for our final answer, 2 times 3 is 6, times the square root of 2 is our simplified version of the square root of 72. When we're simplifying our radicals, if we can't take the square root perfectly, instead we will identify the prime factors, and then find pairs of prime factors to pull out of the radical.